Welcome back. So now we're going to look at the solution to exercise number seven of the second set of exercises. So this time we have a circuit diagram and we saw the tool that allows us to compute the circuit or build the circuit diagrams before, uh, logic.ly. So we've seen this already, or we've seen something very similar to it. This, and what does it say? This, it says, study the circuit diagram below. So we've got two switches, one switch here and one switch here, two toggle switches. They are, they are piped into an AND gate. So we know what the AND gate is going to do. AND will give us true only if both of the switches are on, i.e. one or true. Um, and then we saw this before, but the difference here is this time we have a NOT gate between AND, between the output of the AND gate and the light bulb. Hmm, okay, let's look, read the description. This is the AND circuit that we saw during the online sessions, but note that the output of the AND gate before reaching the light bulb is now being sent through a NOT gate, which is up here. Use the logic.ly circuit simulator at this address to create this, to recreate the circuit diagram below. Actually, that should really say the circuit diagram above, shouldn't it? <laughs> um, test the circuits with all combinations of the two toggle switches, off, 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 on, on, off, and on, to on, and note the output at the light bulb, on or off. Fill in the fourth column of this table, which is the knot of A and B. So this is A and B here, and then we have a knot operator. So it's the knot of A and B. So fill out the truth table with your results. Can you describe in words under what circumstances the result of the Boolean operation in the fourth column will be true? Okay, so let's go to the link and build us a circuit diagram. We'll close this. So we need to have two toggle switches, one there, one there. We need an AND gate, which will be here. We'll join them up to each other. Uh, we then need a NOT gate for this diagram, which is going to be there. We'll join the two of those up. And we are going to then get the light bulb, which is here. And I will connect them together. And straight away, even without even doing anything, the light is turned on. Okay. These two switches here are off at the moment. Okay. Now, what we might do, just for just because we can, let's draw the and let's draw the and circuit diagram below without the not gate, because we're familiar with this one. Right, that to that, that to that, and then we'll whoops, there we go. And we'll just send this to the, the output to the light bulb. So we have a difference here straight away. In both of these two circuits, we have the two toggle switches turned off. They're off here and they're off down here. But in the top one, which is the one we want to study, the light is already on for both of the two toggle switches being off. Whereas we're more familiar with the one down here. We've got the two toggle switches turned off and the light is not on. And we know that because the AND gate here, of course, is applying the Boolean AND operation. So the AND, of the two off switches is of course off, so the light is off. Think of think of think of the switch being off as false or zero, and the switch being on like that as true or one. Okay, so this is correct. We know the truth table here. We know that for the AND gate down here, we'll only see this light bulb come on if both of the two switches are on. And there we go. If I turn one of the switches off, the light will go off. If both switches are off, the light is off. If both switches are on, the light comes on. That corresponds to our truth table for the AND operator. But up here then, we've got a different, we've got a different story. Both of the switches are off, but the light is on. Let's try, now, what I said in the notes is what we should do is we need to try the combinations of the switches and observe what happens. But what we can do as we go along is we can fill in the truth table. So I said that, um, I said, so what we've got here is we've got, uh, at the moment, we've got false and false because the two switches are off, but the light is on. So that's the first row on the table, off and off, but the light is on, so it's true. Okay. And we already know, of course, I already have the third column filled out for you. False and false is, of course, false. So this is, these first three columns is the, tr is the and truth table that we're already familiar with. Okay. So we're just filling in the fourth column. So the not of A and B is true. Now, let's go back to the, the, the diagram. 
let's uh, let's turn one of the switches on and the light has stayed on okay is it the same if we do the other switch yes it is so the light is staying on for both of these combinations as well so for both combinations of each switch being on and off we also get the light turned on and then the final one is when both switches are turned on so let's do it oh the light's turned off now but of course we expected that to happen right <laughs> so with both of the switches on the light is off that's a zero it's false so what do you think of that my friends this is the exact opposite values to a and b got false followed by true false followed by true false followed by true and true followed by false and of course so what's actually happened here we've put the not gate which is here after the and gate so it's flipped every output from the and circuit to its opposite value so of course just like we saw in one of the earlier python programs the not operator has flipped the zero to a one it's flipped this zero to a one and that zero to a one but it's also flipped this one to a zero very clever so the not this is the not this circuit represents the not of a and b and uh, it's like I said, it's just flipping the values of the output of A and B. So we can do those kind of things with the not gate, which is pretty cool. There we go, my friends. And that is the solution to X. Oh, well, I should say, can you describe them on, in words under what circumstances the result of the Boolean operation in the fourth column will be, will be true? So it's true for three values out of the four. So the not of A and B is true whenever A and B is false. The not of A and B is true whenever A and B is false. That's what it does. Very good. And there we go, my friends. That is the solution to exercise number seven. <laughs>